with the author of Every Day is Extra, Senator John Kerry. Now, Senator, can I ask you about John McCain for a moment? Please. You, you were at the, his, his, his funeral. You were at the services honoring him this past weekend. Uh, what did it mean to you to see his life honored? Oh, I mean, I thought we were honoring a great American and a, and a genuine hero. But it also meant to me something profoundly wrong in our country, that President Clinton is there, President Bush is there, President Obama is there, but the current President of the United States cannot be there, is not there, cannot honor an American hero at a moment where the country is screaming for our values to be reaffirmed and for this man particularly to be honored for his willingness to serve his nation. The, our president couldn't be there because he insults him, because he's vengeful, because he's small-minded, because, you know, the family didn't want him there because of the way in which he had insulted John McCain through his life. Now, you write in the That's book that you statement. seriously considered him for your vice presidential running we date had, in 2004. We write about, I write about in the book about the very personal and until now very private conversations that we had. Uh, I thought, given how broken American politics are and how desperately people are waiting for something different, that the idea of getting John McCain on a ticket, if we could work out the, di the difficult issues, and there are some difficult issues, would perhaps bring the country together and, and harness an energy that we desperately need to restore America's democracy. Was he and interested at all? He was genuinely interested, and members of his family thought, uh, he should do it. Uh, some of the advisors around him thought it. But there were real difficulties, as he found when he later tried to take that idea and considered putting Joe Lieberman in, in, in the same position. And it, there just are big difficulties. But let me, but John McCain to me, John McCain and I flew to Kuwait after the war in, uh, in, in the region to liberate Kuwait. And, in, the, in the 1991. Yeah, and we stayed up very late on the airplane because everybody else was asleep, but John and I were seated opposite each other by assignment, and we, weren't, we didn't know each other then. We talked late into the night, and John and I decided he was a conservative a Vietnam veteran who spent five and a half years as a prisoner of war, suffered untold uh, abuse, as we now all know. I was a guy who served in, in, in the Brownwater Navy, in the Mekong Delta, uh, and came back and thought the war was unbelievably screwed up wrong, and I spoke out against it, and I led the Vietnam veterans against the war. And John had every reason in the world to hate me, to never talk to me, to think I was, you know, somehow an anathema to his value system. And, so, and, and, and I would have said John should have changed and read the facts. He didn't. He didn't harbor that kind of hatred. He had the capacity for forgiveness. He had a capacity to to learn what the truth was, what the facts were. And so John and I, that night on that airplane, one of the most important conversations I had in all my time in the United States Senate, decided together we were going to work in a bipartisan fashion, not just to try to make peace with Vietnam and move away and solve the problem of whether we had prisoners of war and Americans had been left behind and were alive, but we decided we also needed to make peace here at home because America was still torn apart over the war. And you know what? We did it. We put together a report that solved the problem, that, that, that figured out whether anybody had been left alive. We worked with President Clinton, with President George Bush, and, and, and today we have the most exhaustive system of any nation in all the history of warfare, of by any nation, to be able to determine whether we left somebody behind or whether somebody uh, or how somebody died or to recover remains. And because of what we put together, over 700 families in America have received the remains of their loved ones, have been able to have closure, and we have been able literally to find a way to make peace in the souls and minds of many Americans as a result of what John and I did together. That's the way people should work together. Well, here's hoping for peace in many ways. Here's hoping for peace in many ways. Thank you, Senator. The book is Every Day is Extra. John Kerry, everybody.